What's up everyone, it's Scotty with Money Vesting. I am back from Doha and uh, it's been an incredible week. Uh, I just noticed, I just realized that it's been exactly one week that I've been gone uh, in, in Qatar for the FIFA World Cup. And in the last seven days, um, I was fortunate enough to watch five games. So I watched five different matches, all different teams, saw literally some of the, you know, some of my idols, players who I grew up watching. Uh, at the World Cup, so it's been a great experience, um, and yeah, I'm back. I'm still on the hunt for the final ticket, which is going to be literally the finals, the FIFA World Cup finals on December 18th, so I'm going to keep checking the ticketing platform to see if I can kind of extend my luck a little bit. I'm going to be here for another couple weeks here. If I get that ticket, I'll only be flying in for about a day, so we'll see. No promises, of course. I'll see depending on the availability, but I'm super excited and also sad at the same time. I mean, leaving that place was definitely a little bit of heartbreaking because the entire atmosphere, the whole environment was incredible. It was just absolutely insane. If you still have the opportunity and if you've ever wanted to go experience a FIFA World Cup, Qatar has done an incredible job in hosting it. The hospitality has just been insane. Everything's been free from public transport to, to SIM cards and data. Like It's been absolutely amazing. So anyway, uh, I'm going to give you guys an update on what to look for going into next week. And of course, our market open live streams will now resume. I will be live uh, during market open today. Um, and of course, we'll kind of continue our stock analysis videos and all that stuff. I do want to mention that we do still have a 60% off on our fundamental and technical analysis courses. So right now we do have the Christmas sale going on. The coupon code is going to be Christmas 60. And also make sure that you do and join our Discord. That's going to be the second link down in the description below. The first week of the month is the best time to join. And there is a 16% discount that is still available. We have extended that sale. A little bit longer so both of those options are still available number one the christmas sale for fundamental and technical analysis courses that's the bundle coupon code christmas 60 and the discord and the patreon is also available where you can get access to our trade alerts bites alerts options alerts all that stuff ad free content um, and that's going to be the second link down in the description below so this right here are going to be the earnings coming up before next week there's not a lot of companies so you know especially when it comes to the s p 500 the nasdaq we're kind of like towards the back half of the earnings season we're just kind of like winding down now so a few companies to really be paying close attention to or something that i'll be paying close attention i'll be watching them mongodb is one of them so this was a stock that we did analyze during our three hour long live streams so not this past weekend but the weekend before the weekend before i left for doha we did a seven hour long a private member live stream where we analyzed over 20 stocks right so we pretty much went through all the companies that members suggested and we did a full-blown fundamental analysis on them looking at their cash flows earnings valuations balance sheets everything so again if you want to access you know, private content and more detailed value oriented content like that. The Patreon is our best place to join our Discord and you can be a part of our money investing community. There's a second link down below. But MongoDB was part of that list. It's not a profitable company, but it is a very strong, consistent growth company. So that's something that I will be paying attention to. That's number one. Um, and then that's pretty much it on a Tuesday. They do report after the bell. Nothing really on Monday. Maybe GitHub or GitLab. This is one stock that I will potentially be paying attention to maybe, but that's that's pretty much it. We got GitLab, MongoDB, and then Wednesday, of course, I know that a lot of people will be watching GameStop. A lot of people will be paying attention to C3AI, Lovestack maybe, um, and that pretty much is it. I'm not super interested in those companies, but I know that investors and, and retail investors more specifically will be focusing on GameStop very much uh there are a couple stocks very very important stocks on thursday companies that are reporting and that i'll be personally watching as well costco number one lululemon most certainly this is a high quality name high quality brand in the united states that i will definitely be paying attention to this is one stock that i really do want to own but at lower prices and docusign as well this is another stock that i really am interested in but need to see more profitability more cash flows and better visibility into the future from this business as well uh, broadcom and chewy rh also reporting along with manchester united which has absolutely rallied 60 70 percent ever since we heard from the glazers that they are going to be putting the club up for sale um, so that obviously has been a big catalyst driven event for 
the United stock and it's, you know, I think it's back over 20 bucks or something. If you take a look at M-A-N-U, this stock is now trading back over, let's see, a little bit over $22 now. So just an insane rally. You can see that pop here uh, from the stock. And of course, incredibly overbought RSI and MACD. So they're also reporting on Thursday after the bell. And then Friday before the open, we've got Lee Auto. So this right here is going to be the economics calendar. So we don't have a lot of things coming out except for PPI, so producer price index, which is one of the inflation reports the markets are going to be looking forward to, is going to be coming out not on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, but instead it comes out on Friday, December 9th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, the CPI numbers come out next week, uh, which is going to be December 13th, um, which I believe is going to be a Tuesday. So they are going to be they are going to be released, and CPI obviously is going to be far more important than PPI. But either or, PPI is also going to give us a little bit more guidance as to you know how much the producers, and manufacturers are actually paying for raw materials and input prices. Consumer sentiment also comes out on the same day. Uh, of course, jobless claims comes out every Thursday, so that's going to be due on Thursday, December eighth, and that pretty much is going to be it. Nothing else. We've only got a few earnings, some earnings that I'm interested in. Of course, PPI produced by index the first inflation print um, and talking a little bit about the markets the S&P 500 has got a pretty substantial week from a technical standpoint because we've got a big technical resistance to fight off and that's going to be this lower high over here uh, and of course all the way up to 4300 that's going to be this resistance uh, that the red line you guys see on the chart that I drew in the past that's going to be in line with that previous resistance coming in since August of 2022 as well uh, and of course if we do see the volatility spike which you know has just been crushing down it's just been you know down under four percent on friday it's just been selling off pretty aggressively so on the week last week volatility was down another seven percent uh, and this has been one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nine to ten consistent weeks of red for the volatility so definitely remain cautious as the VIX gets lower, it is definitely time for us to be careful. Um, and of course, any long trades, uh, the risk reward is just going to be a little bit uh, worse than you know when the VIX was much higher. So just keep that in mind. And of course, keeping a close eye on the S&P 500 at this lower high, roughly 4,000 for us to see whether we get that breakout or not. Uh, and of course, for the NASDAQ, a very similar situation, but it has also underperformed severely. Uh, thanks to Tesla, thanks to Amazon, thanks to a lot of tech stocks that have really not been able to perform as well as some of the more value oriented more cash flow companies some of the down names um, and, and as a result the nasdaq still has a little bit of ways to go before it can get up to that 200 sma before it can get up to this lower high for uh, as a technical resistance and that's going to be sitting roughly at 12,000 points so s p 4300 resistance well the first one really is going to be 4000 4100 call it like right here 4085 that's going to be this lower high whether we get a breakout or whether we get a rejection um, and then we'll worry about 4300 and for the nasdaq really that only level to pay attention to is 12,000. that's in line with that 200 sma and it's also in line with that lower high as well and of course a lot of individual stocks will pretty much make it or break it for the markets moving forward. So hope you guys enjoy this video and a quick update on what's coming up. So the big catalyst to really be paying attention to is again, the jobless claims, some productivity numbers, and the more important PPI numbers, the producer press index, one of the two inflation reports the markets really care about. Uh, and of course, some earnings that I'm gonna be paying attention to is Costco, Lululemon, DocuSign, uh, Lee Auto. Um, and then earlier in the week, we do have uh, companies like MongoDB, Sentinel One, GitLab, um, some of them, some of them that are also reporting numbers. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, find it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like, subscribe if you're new. First week of the month is still here. Uh, if you want to be a part of our money investing community, and of course get access to our Discord and our, uh, you know, Patreon, ad free content, trade alerts, all that stuff. The link's going to be down below. There's a 16% discount still available, and Christmas sale has just started for fundamental and technical analysis courses. That's the bundle, and you can get up to 60% off. And that is the highest discount we've ever given on any sale event. So that's going to be coupon code CHRISTMAS60. As always, happy investing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.